friends, this is MD Vegan. I make a new salad and um, it has two special things. One is the dressing and one is the main ingredients. There's a horse radish dressing. This is a piece of horse radish. It's a small piece, it seems, yeah, but it is very hot. Yeah. Uh, it is um, horse radish is hot and it cleanses the, the body really, the fire of, of the, the heat of the of the horse radish, like onions, garlic, uh, chili peppers, all these hot spices are super healthy. They they burn out the dirt <laughs> and the garbage from the system. So horseradish is very nice, has a very strong flavor and it needs a special uh, seasoning if I want to make it in a dressing. That I show you in a moment. The other thing, what I use the horseradish cream for is um, um, roots and tubers. For example, the roots, I have here a julienne, some carrots. Yeah. You see very thin stripes of carrots. And I'll show you in a moment how that works. And the other main ingredient is fennel. Here's a, such a, a, a bowl of fennel, or a ball of fennel. You see this half, yeah, this is what the fennel looks like from outside, it has these layers. And in Italy, for example, they eat it like an apple. They are very delicious. Um, it's not everybody's flavor. I know, fennel tastes a little bit like licorice, and not everybody likes it. But if you, I mean, uh, if you put it in a nice um, environment of carrots, apples, horseradish cream, it becomes delicious. So I show you that later. Right now I go to the dressing because that is one main, main part of this dish. And I make it in advance and I show you how. Here I have a handful of cashews. I want to make a, a horseradish cream. Yeah, that is one thing I would need with horseradish together, as it is so hot. It is very nice to have this gentle, sweetish cream, cashew cream, as a background for the hash, for the horseradish to really unfold its flavor and these very strong flavors like, like horseradish. Um, they are very pointed, poignant in the flavor. And if you mellow it down, you gentle it a little bit, you, then the flavor unfolds into many different flavors. So a very strong flavor, very sharp, can be very complex and very um, um, wide, a spectrum of flavors, when you mellow it down. That's what I tried with the horseradish cream. And um, um, together with the horseradish, or with the cashews, I do not put um, lemon, into the dressing as usual to make it sour, I put some apple cider vinegar. Here, apple cider vinegar, just a tablespoon or two for a handful of cashews. That is an advantage as compared to lemon because the apple cider vinegar too has a very sharp um, sourness. Yeah? Like horseradish, a very sharp. So this could uh, balance itself a little bit. Okay. Uh, so that's why I take apple cider vinegar. I guess it's better. And now I put this piece of horseradish in. I show you again. It's not too much. You have to be careful because otherwise you cannot eat it anymore. It's such a little small piece here of horseradish. In a big power blender, I can just put a piece of horseradish, no problem. Otherwise, I would grate it in a grater. Yeah, that is easier if you have a, not such a strong blender. It's always easier to prepare the ingredients a little bit, but with these powerhouses, it is easy. I can put whole uh, dates here in. I have four dates, yeah, four dates. You see, I pitted the dates, of course. I put the dates in just as I don't, I don't need to soak them even if they're a little bit hard. Doesn't matter, the blender takes care of it. And I have a, a table, a teaspoon, a teaspoon of salt, Himalayan salt. That is usually for such a portion of dressing. I take a teaspoon, handful of cashews, teaspoon of salt. This is the ratio I usually, not too much, not too little. And here in this case, I have some water. Let's see if that works. A, a cup of water, about a cup, would usually be the measurement. A cup of water, handful of cashews, teaspoon of salt. This is the main base usually for this kind of dressing, of course. There are other dressings without cashews, without salt, and so on, but for this kind of dressing, that is a nice ratio.
Let's see Blender dance. <laughs> cream and now I'm curious of what it is like. I made it pretty similar though not perfectly the same but let's see what this is like. Looks good, has a nice texture, the creaminess I like, the color I like, the flavor, mm, the, the smells very nicely, the fragrance. Now let's taste it. Mm. Oh yeah, very good. There it is. The horseradish is no longer too sharp. It is very earth-like. It's very broad earthen flavor and it's good. I will sit, let it sit for a while and then I can add, if I like, after having it uh, settled, letting it sit for a while, I can see what I'll do with it. So now I will show you what I do with my main ingredient today. That's the fennel. Here, I show you again. This is a fennel. I, it's a half of a fennel. Yeah. I just have to clean, you know, these kind of things on the outside. They have sometimes some little bit dirt on the outside, on these outside layers like this. I take them simply I take them down, and until we have this cleanliness, and then I can take everything. And here I cut a little bit to make it clean. Sometimes there's a little bit dirt here. I clean, and then rest I can use. Even the real, the, the the green here top, I can use it no problem. So I can use it in my hand, I can keep it in my hand, very simple to grip. And um, here I have this mandolin. And this is a um, very nice for things like carrots or also here the fennel today. And you see these um, blades here, the little blades, I show you these. Yeah. They are gross, yeah. They are a little bit grosser. Um, the carrots here, the juliennes, I have used another blade in the same mandolin. I used another blade to have these very fine strips. But for the fennel, I would think it is nicer to have a little bit larger. The carrot is a little bit um, firmer, a little bit more crunchy, the texture of the carrot. Whereas the fennel has a very soft um, texture. There's more water in the fennel that makes it softer. So when it's softer, I can make a little bit of the pieces, the chunks a little bit larger that fits. So and again, I have to show you my big, big, big here finding. Yeah. Finally, I found this um, cut resistant glove. It's a miracle. It should be delivered together with the mandolin because you can keep the fennel in this case in the right hand with the cut resistant glove and drive along over the um, the blade, and you will not even not cut you not cutting your finger even if you touch the blades. In the mandolin, the only um, problem with the mandolin is that it has very sharp blades. It's an amazing tool. You can cut so many different shapes in a very easy way. The mandolin is a super tool, but um, it is dangerous if you don't have this glove. And the other tool that comes with the mandolin, that is a something to keep to hold the veggies doesn't really work so but the the, the the cut resistant glove is the perfect tool for it so i just um drive um, along the blades here over the blades pressing it down and i need to press it down because otherwise it doesn't work and when i press it down with a little bit of strength then i run into danger to cut me without the blade, the glove. So the glove is very important. Uh, if you have a mandolin, uh, you should definitely have a glove. <laughs> That's so really pro. I have for many years. I have a mandolin now, and I use it scarcely because um, I didn't have a glove, and I was a little hesitant always. I made some videos without the glove, but now since I have the glove, I'm really a big fan again from the mandolin. 
and that's what I have here. Okay. Show you. This is um, you see. This is what I have now from the from the from the fennel. It's about the same amount, like the the carrots, but the texture is a little bit larger, yeah, than from the carrots. And I will that is okay because of the texture, the, the, the density of the of the carrot and um, the fennel. And I like to have the similar textures, yeah, uh, with the fennel and the carrots, uh, because um, the flavor will combine easier. I just make one small cut through the, the, through the carrots because uh, then they are easier and they are sim more similar to the fennel. You show this is here pretty much the same amount I would say a fennel carrot salad and it will look beautiful because of these little stripes that look so nice. So the, the third ingredient is the apple. You see my apple here one apple, just in the little triangles, very easy. I didn't need to peel it, it's delicious. Uh, and that's my third ingredient. Apple goes perfect together with both fennel and with um, carrot. So now I go back to the dressing, I check the dressing again, maybe I have to season it again. I will try now what happens after the sitting. Yeah, it's a little bit because of the, the cashews, they have not been soaked. So that the whole dressing will firm up a little bit uh, just by sitting. I taste it again. Mm, yummy. So nice. I wouldn't even season it anymore. Now, the longer it sits, um, the horseradish flavor comes through. It's so delicious. I have a right amount of uh, radish. Maybe one date less I would take next time, but it doesn't matter. It's really nice. Um, the, the measurements, it's pretty much up to you. It's a wonderful combination. I can use it as is. But my, one more blending I will do, because it's set a little bit, to make it a little bit more creamy, just very shortly. <laughs> well, that was it, very simple. And now I show you what it looks like when I pour my dressing over the salad, this wonderful horseradish cream. Really, I love it already. You see, it melts so nicely together with the fennel, with the apple and the carrots. Yeah, and it's delicious, like a, almost like a soup. I can make so much with the horseradish. You know, sometimes in the health food shop, oftentimes it happens, uh, I go into the health food shop and see some ingredient, a plant, for example, a fennel, a bulb of fennel, or I see a piece of horseradish or something, and I wonder, oh, that looks interesting, but I have no idea what to do with it. And there's all the variety of these fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, and really I don't really know what to use it. And usually before, when I, before I made these take three recipes, before I began, a couple of years ago, I was pretty much stuck with pretty much the same ingredients all the time. But now, since I have this method, changing small parts of the recipes before to make the next one and there's a very small number of ingredients yeah to begin with it is so easy to use everything yeah now i have the fennel in there and the horseradish isn't that amazing i don't know if i would use it otherwise so you can, can try if you didn't use horseradish before or fennel you can try it's really delicious so that i have a topping so two parts now the main parts is the apple, the horseradish, and the carrot, first part. Second part, the dressing. Third part, topping. And I will have the crunch here of some almonds. I tried some other nuts before when I decided what kind of um, nut I would like to have together with the carrots and the horseradish and um, um, the apple and um, the fennel. I tried some other nuts and um, the end was the almond. Now I, I would stick with the almond. So I just cut in here, but that is also up to you, which kind of nut you would prefer, or even a seed. I did not try, for example, sunflower seeds. That might be a nice, nice option. But honestly, uh, what made me decide for the almond in the end was, and I tasted it, all of a sudden, together with the almond and a piece of, I guess it was the fennel, 
exploded into a nice um, flavor variety from the almond and the fennel. So, very subjective impression. That's how I try, I decide <coughs> which kind of nut I would use. Maybe you can relate, I don't know. Let's see. So this is here where I put on top of my salad. I see, just show you the impression, the almonds on top. And that's what I'm looking forward to now. I will toss it and enjoy it. As I said before, if you make the fresh horseradish, horseradish cream um, with this uh, piece of horseradish tumor, it will um, sit for a while, for five minutes or so, and then the horseradish flavor begins to unfold. Immediately after, after blending the horseradish cream, it might taste a little bit dull, but wait for a moment, yeah? together with the apple cider vinegar and the salt and the cashews, it unfolds into a wonderful variety of flavors. You will see. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe and be vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.